Hi guys. So in this Easter holiday that's just gone, one of the things I was looking at was putting up my daughter's old trampoline so we could do some exercise in the garden. And as I was putting it up, the circumference of the trampoline part matched exactly the size of the net that goes up. There's a net up the, up the side of it and there's a circle that goes around the top. Now on that net, there is a long uh, pole that holds that in place. The circle at the top is a long pole that bends around. Um, I did a bit of an experiment to find out if that was true. Here it is. So here you can see my tape measure across um, the trampoline at 261 and a half centimetres um, for that diameter, straight across there, 261 and a half centimetres. Um, as you can see, it goes around, the pole goes around those posts there, and when you look at it, it's just a long piece of stick, the kind that you get in a tent, to be honest. Um, the poles all fit together and it makes the length that is that size. So what I decided to do is roll it all out on the floor. And here it is, all laid out on the floor. As you can see, it looks absolutely massive compared to the actual trampoline and my shadow. And that is it against the trampoline. And it looks really, really big. So I started measuring it, I went along, across, 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 until we got to the end, but my tape measure just wasn't big enough. So what I did where I took a measurement, that is the measurement, and then I scooted the tape in, get rid of the scoop, watch your fingers, And then I measured the last little bit and added it on. And now that's what I got for adding it on. There it is. 818 centimetres. Is that what you got? If not, why could that be different? My question is, whilst I'm trying to put this up really quickly, why would that be different to the actual size that it should be? There are a number of factors that could be. I'll let you have a think about that while I put this net up. So to find the circumference of a circle, we use the formula pi times diameter. And if we put our figures in there, we'll get um, a quite an accurate figure of what that circle should be. But it is different to the one that we measured. Why is that? Well, one of the main reasons is I could have measured it wrong. I could have um, not gone through the center of the circle. I may have not measured as accurately as I could have done. Um, or the sun may have made the, uh, the rod ex expanding the heat. Many different ways this could be wrong, but you'd need to have some kind of idea of why that would be for your exam. Look at me now enjoying this trampoline as it should be. Have fun, guys. Okay, guys. Hope you like that. Have a good day.